it's black and white and bad all over. I'm Cruella. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another psychotic makeup cosplay. <laughs> Guys, this is a hot mess as usual. You know, this is a bitch on a budget production. You know that I am not a professional. <laughs> I am not a professional drag cosplay artist, bitch. I just get inspired and uh, let my imagination take over. So this is my take on Cruella, 1970s punk, mohawk, black and white, more like um, Glenn Close version of Cruella, uh, mixed in with 70s punk, realness. As soon as I saw the trailer, I was so inspired to do this cosplay. I knew exactly what I was gonna do. Let's get into this look and I will break it all down for you. Category is glamour, but make it punk. Here's a new segment that I like to call behind the scenes girl not the terrible sewing puns we're not doing that no but like get it behind the seams you know not this behind the scenes no bitch i got it but it's hilarious because of all the sewing bitch don't you dare now so for my mood board for this whole look was the Sex Pistols, Dr. Frankenfurter from the Rocky Horror Picture Show, Vivian Westwood, Blondie's Parallel Lines album cover, and everything UK punk and New York punk scene. I'm living for my black and white, David Bowie, hair, punk, mohawk, realness, bitch. Let me know what you think. Please be kind. <laughs> Please be kind. So of course the color palette had to be black, white, and a little bit of red. First of all, I want to show you a Halloween picture from like literally last century. It was so long ago. Me and uh, my friend, we were, uh, we like threw this costume party um, and I dressed up as Cruella. Like Cruella always, like I always loved Cruella. Like she was always such a badass, the black and the white, the makeup, the craziness. I live for her. So when I saw the movie, a uh, trailer drop, I'm like, I knew I had to do it. So here is a picture way back in the day from a hundred years ago, me dressed up in a costume that I rented, um, black and white sequins with little fur and the fur outline on the bottom. And the whole headpiece was a feather wig. So I, instead of, that was like more of a glamour look, glamour drag look. This is like, even back then I was trying to do drag. I fucking loved it. Um, but this is definitely the punk version of this. Um, the feathers into the mohawk. This took so long to do, guys. This look, I put more work into this look than I have in any other look. Um, it was so time consuming. So I did it. Feathers. This is my Days Gone baseball hat that I um, used to glue all the feathers down. I have no idea what I'm doing with styling hair, but I knew I wanted like a short bob, spiky, spiky hair to like look like the punk rock hair. And I wanted a big ass mohawk. So. I made a big ass mohawk bitch into the dress. Like literally the day I saw the trailer, I ordered this sequins uh, fabric for the dress. Now this dress, I literally made from scratch. Literally ordered the fabric. I had no idea what I was doing. I knew I wanted to make it half and half, obviously. And I knew that I wanted to um, make it glamorous and I wanted to bring the punk elements into it. So in case you are wondering what these gorgeous big poofy sleeves are, they are made from garbage bags. Oh yes, oh yes, these are made from trash bags. We're giving you trash realness. Literally trash, bitch. <laughs> I made these um, into what what's called like a technique, it's called smocking, a smocking sleeve. It's a big, you gotta like make a grid and to gather it in certain spots to make it like this poofy look. It is also stuffed with um, more trash bags and some paper towels, <laughs> literally to make it stick up and poofy. And I wanted to make it look like not just like play it kind of looked so bland just like with the plastic bag. so i rhinestone them on the sleeves in the spots where i gathered it um, and i wanted to put the safety pins as you can see i had the safety pins on the dress because everything punk rock has to have safety pins um i used to wear safety pins as earrings when i was a kid i fucking live for the punk rock look and aesthetic so um since i no longer have like earrings <laughs> Um, so I use these safety pins in the dress. I really want I really was trying to figure out a way to put a safety pin through my face without like putting it through my face, you know, just making it look that way. So I had to put the safety pins here uh, and throughout the outfit I did. I wanted to put a slit in the leg to show like the division. Look too plain. So what I did was since I was already on working on the sleeves, I decided to cut out strips and strips, about 40 strips each of the garbage bags and made each individual ruffle 
rhinestone them and attach them all individually to the dress. So there's about four, there's about 80 individual ruffles that I made to put around the edge of the, um, the edge of the, the slit in the dress to like zhuzh it up. Like I love the sequins, but it just looked kind of plain and kind of boring. So I wanted to put that, the ruffles all around the bottom, but I said, that's not big enough. If you see in the movie and Cruella has her, um, uh, the train, the huge long train, it's like running on the back of a fire truck. It's ginormous. Obviously I cannot do that. I am a bitch on a budget. So what I did was I'm like, I want something that will stick up by itself and then it doesn't look like it's supposed to be on the outside of the dress. I wanted to like deconstruct it a little bit. So I ordered like, no joke, 16 yards of crinoline fabric to give me the big poofy, like paneer, like they're called uh, paneer pocket skirts. That big poofy, like it doesn't belong there, but it's gotta be there kind of thing. So I wanted to give it that deconstructed like princess gown but reverse kind of thing i don't know like cruella has this sickening 80 foot train like bitch i cannot do that this was very cheap this was like a dollar a yard so i got like 16 yards for both for both colors i did have these cone shaped um pieces that i this that i wrapped in the sequins that i wanted to put on the shoulders it kind of didn't go with the sleeves it was taking away from the poofy sleeves so so i got rid of it you know there's always one thing that doesn't work out in these cosplays and that was the one thing it did not work out but it looked really cool and i wish i could have made it work but it was just it didn't go it didn't lay right with the sleeves and the sleeves looked i really wanted the sleeves to be a main part of the look the garbage bag sleeves and the garbage bag ruffles and these gloves Guys, I never made gloves before. I made these. I don't have like tracing paper and stuff. So what I use is like old holiday gift wrapping paper. <laughs> and I just use that as my tracing paper. And I just like literally, like, you know, when you're a kid in school and you trace your, your hands and your arm. Oh my God, rhinestones are falling everywhere. What a fucking hot mess as usual. Um, so I made the gloves. It's like a stretchy, like um, spandexy fabric. I made one each and I made these gorgeous studded um with the rings i wanted the rings to be a part of the look kind of remind you of like the dog's chains you know for cruella with the dog so i of course you have seen this choker a million times can we just admit that chokers are just part of my aesthetic i'm really not boring i just fucking love chokers so i had the rings here i wanted the rings to be shown here as well we lost a couple of studs rip <laughs> r.i.p to the studs that didn't make it um so we did the studs all the way around all the way around on here and um I wanted you to be able to see it, so I just did like a little opposite side, opposite style, as Eddie Riggs says from Brutal Legend. And they're um, like opera length, they go all the way up. And I just love this fabric, it's so good. And these are of course our faux leather, um, oops, there goes another one. It's very punk rock, very with the spikes. I live for anything spiky, I live. And I wanted the rings to match here and on the belt. Okay, so the faux fur, the stole, um, that you see obviously is faux fur. I do not use any real fur. So, so, so many different types of fabric I used for this look, it was insane. So I used, I got white and black faux fur. I wanted to add it to the look because I said it's so luxurious, it's so like fashion, um, especially during that time period. So I wanted to add that look to it. So we got the punk, we got the glamour, we got the faux fur, we got everything. I wanted to make it extra long, but it was like I made it too long. So like I was tripping over it. So I had to like shorten it a little bit. Like not for anything, there was fur and sequins all over my house, all over. So I said, that's not enough. Cruella's purse, if she had her own uh, brand clothing line, she would have merchandise and she would have a, a designer bag. And this is the, the designer bag that she would have, bitch, uh, with her branding anarchy symbol, the big red A. That's the only red I wanted to have in the look was the lips and on the, the bag. Oh my God, Cookie loves this, my dog Cookie. He is a black and white Shih Tzu and he kept protecting this dress like it was his mama. Oh my God, he's sitting on the, the crinoline right now. He thinks it's a blanket. Oh my God, he's so cute. Hi, sir. Oh my God, he's so freaking cute. He thinks this, he was protecting the dress when it was on the, uh, the mannequin the whole entire time. He loved it and would sit by it every day. He's crazy. Now these boots that I wore, I already had. These boots I wear in my everyday life, so I did not want to spray paint one white. I'll show you how I did it. I half wrapped one of the boots in the faux leather and in duct tape to really get it to look like a white boot it's because I want to wear them again. These are like one of my favorite pairs of boots. <laughs> and it also, the reason why I picked these boots is because they have the ring on them with the little metal studs on the outside of the boots. So that whole went with the whole theme, so it went perfectly. 
they're like motorcycle boots but with heels i wore the white fishnets i was gonna wear white and black but then i fit you're not even gonna see them so i said let me just wear the white now i know this isn't video game related and i know i kind of look like a chicken please don't read me for filth for uh looking like a chicken from hell <laughs> looking like a fucking chicken from hell bitch i don't even care i fucking love this look i love it so much i'm so happy with it obviously this is not sponsored by disney or cruella at all no fucking nobody at disney is bothered with me miss cruella is not bothered with me miss emma stone is stunning in this movie but she is not bothered with me so uh this is my own take on this look oh my god i'm living living i love everything about the punk scene the clothes the music the aesthetic everything the anarchy i fucking live bitch so i know this isn't video game cosplay but i had to i would have i don't know if i could have lived without doing cruella cosplay is it perfect no is it fucking busted yes all my rhinestones falling off definitely <laughs> is my hair busted my hairline is busted yes there are much more cosplays coming to the channel i'm just getting started darling so this took about two months on and off like i said i have like other responsibilities other things that I have to do in between making these costumes and these cosplays uh, but now especially that my PS5 is broken I figured this is the perfect time to work on the cosplay now I just want to go over this look wanted it to look very like cartoon villain but still have that 70s punk aesthetic I did a very large cat eye with a gray cut crease black and gray cut crease these eyebrows i wanted to look very like cartoony and of course i had to have a red glitter lip iconic she wears miss emma stone wears the red glitter lip in the movie in the trailer and i had to recreate that um i didn't use any highlighter today i almost fucking passed out no highlighter but i did use very bright red blush um in the 70s they didn't wear any highlight they wore the i wanted to look very black and white i did the cut crease and red that was my color palette it took me about an hour and a half to do this makeup look this took two months i'm gonna say two months to do this dress like i said i don't know what i'm doing i literally just do what my imagination tells me i made this dress because this is what i envisioned it to look like this is the wig what i wanted the wig to look like and i am living my punk rock cruella fantasy right now i'm living for this and this fucking mohawk is everything let me know in the comments what you think if you like this look i know it's a hot ass mess please be kind don't read me fill i actually hand sewed this dress i didn't even use my sewing machine i don't even know why i just felt like i had to do it by hand i don't know why so i hand sewn this dress myself and i really hope you enjoyed this sickening cruella look i didn't want it to look too pretty obviously i wanted it to look very cartoon villain very 70s punk uh heavy black eye and i'm living for this makeup look and this hair so if you like this video and my motherfucking shenanigans please like share subscribe um this drag does not come cheap <laughs> even though i do do it on a budget i used like seven different materials sequins faux leather spandex garbage bags <laughs> feathers faux fur i think i used about seven different fabrics uh and, and materials for this outfit spikes rings everything like i uh, safety pins i fucking went all out um, because I really wanted to do it. Is it perfect? No. Is it busted? Yes. But I fucking kind of live for it. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for all your love and support on the channel. I appreciate you guys so very much. If you like this video and my motherfucking shenanigans, please leave a like, share. And if you can, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps. Help this girl out. Thanks for watching and I'll be back with more.